Hey everyone, James Nigemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today, I am up at Lake Fork. And last week, I came out here, had a guide trip, and it was tough. I mean, it was really tough. Conditions are key, obviously, anytime you're bass fishing, but, and the conditions for that day were, were on the tougher side. We really, we had a decent amount of wind, but the night, the two nights before that, one night was in the was in the high 30s, and then one the next night, the low was in the low 40s. So, and then it was followed by this high pressure, you know, post frontal type thing, and so the fishing was tough. So, it, it, on, to couple that, I believe that a good portion of the fish on the lake are post spawn. It's you know it's the third week of April, pretty much, and I really feel like a lot of times you're gonna get another nice wave, but I, I feel like, you know, I feel like there's some definitely some spawning fish, some spawning activity that's still waiting to happen. However, I do feel like a good portion of them, uh, are, they're, they're done. So, um, so with that, it's kind of post frontal, post spawn, but I'm back because I want redemption. I mean, anytime you go out on the lake and even more your home lake where you don't catch them, you want to go back out there and catch them. So here we are back on Lake Fork. We're going to give it another go and uh, see what happens. I've got another guide trip out uh, this coming Saturday. This could be kind of a rough Lake Fork report. It's going to be minimal in the lakes, the areas that I see. I'm not going to just see from one end to the other. I'm going to just pick some select areas. Um, again, in the stained water, kind of the northern po portion of the lake. Going to sample it up, see what happens. Thanks for tuning back into the YouTube channel. Here we go gonna make a short run into one of the major creeks up here on the north end and see what we can figure out see what the fish are saying hopefully they're saying something right it is 11 o'clock beautiful day a little bit of wind out of the northwest here we go okay here we are first stop Let's see what we got Yes, got my first one. Drop my power poles. Now look how thick that fish is. That fish just got here, no doubt. Not a very big one, but it is number one. You gotta love number one. Caught him on a Strike King rodent. Green pumpkin, purple gold. All right. Not much of a bite, just pitched in there and it kind of I lifted up on it and uh, you could just feel that pressure right there so just a light pressure almost like a weightlessness with my bait so there's some fish up around this brush still getting ready to spawn we'll see how much of that is the norm and how much of that is the fringe but we got number one we've been here for almost 50 minutes so not quite but it's a good sign First one came on that striking rodent. Green pumpkin, purple gold, like I said. And four rot owner jungle flipping hook. A lot of guys like to text bows it. I like to just go straight through, especially with a straight shank. I like to just go straight through and then just barely, 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 you can see it's just poking through right there. Got a little bobber stop and a 3 16 ounce tour grade tungsten weight. Gotta wonder if there's a female in there. Water, I think this thing really looks kind of like a bluegill. That green pumpkin, purple gold right there. It just really shows up well. I like that lighter weight anytime I'm flipping around the spawn. I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes that heavier weight is what they want, but it feels like you get more bites with that kind of a slow glide. I think that's what makes those 
the cigar type baits and ocho type baits so productive. <laughs> Poppin' perch, another nice male. <laughs> Green pumpkin popping perch going to work. Look how thick that fish is. I mean, I'm guessing he's a male. He's just so thick. Sweet. Man, that fish startled me. I mean, he just came up and crushed it. I'm thinking this could be the deal. This and maybe a little flipping could be the ticket. Braid it, got my uh, braid all. Uh, dug into itself in the reel that was awesome and that fish crushed it key was it was sitting still too i think it's always a challenge anytime you hit the boat put the boat on the water is trying to figure out what the fish are doing the seasonal pattern to me that's the that's the key if you can get a bead on what a portion of the fish are doing you know a majority of the fish or the population are doing and you don't really have to know what the largest portion is doing but it's just good to uh, to have an understanding of what fish are doing so that when you focus your air your your search in specific areas where you think the fish will be you know you're 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 actually targeting an area where that they're using as opposed to something where it's just kind of a random I mean you can typically catch random fish any time of the year doing a wide variety of things but trying to get an understanding of what a large portion of the fish are doing to me has always seemed to be big a big key 1218 I'll give you an idea kind of there is there has to be some sort of a a bite because to get two fish pretty quick like that how fun is that I mean how fun is that <laughs> pop and perch pipsqueak pop and perch coming into play so sweet so sweet all right yes fished over pitched over there by that uh, that little bit of remnant vine right out there just kind of as you saw where i was just twitching 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 just thinking man maybe there's a there's either a bedding fish or a fish kind of setting up an ambush waiting for something to come along and uh just i think those pieces of isolated cover are just key look at that thing coming through the water that thing's crazy I mean, that thing's got a lot of action. May have to go up to the next size. No, no, that looks good. I like that. Okay, here we go. And who thinks I'm gonna catch one on the buzz bait today? I think I am. That was actually a frog cast right there, but. Comment below. You think I'll get one on the buzz bait today? Yes! 
<laughs> do you see that guy come up and slurp it like a carp? He just did a little whoop, little slurp action on it. Oh, I mean, I got him too. Can't hardly get the hook out of there. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Little green pumpkin. Pop and perch going to town. Nice fish. I mean, that, that fish right there was like in a gimme spot. All right. I think we've got a little pattern going. It is just... As long as I've been doing this, the thing that just continues to stand out for me is how important it is to have the conditions be how important conditions are to the fish. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Last week it was just so super tough and today I've been out here for, how long have I been out here? It's 12.55, basically been here for two hours and I've already got four fish. To add to this little pattern, it seems like they don't want to be back behind it. They want to be where the main grass edge kind of disseminates or falls apart or breaks up and gets kind of scattered and sparse. They don't want to be on the front side of it so far and they don't want to be on the back side of it. They want to be right where it kind of thins out. Oh, finally had one on a buzz bait. Missed him. Golly, that one was a good one. See one on a bed over there. See if we can catch it. Oh my. He's rolling up on it. Coming over to it. I think this fish can be caught. He keeps coming after it. Keeps chasing it. Yes, look at that one. <laughs> that fish was on a bed, hooked inside the mouth. Pretty cool. Put her rack on there. I don't think she's been there very long. <sighs> Pretty fish, stocky fish. That's number five, actually. Oh, come on, girl. There you go. All right. She actually rolled up on the frog earlier, and uh, that's how she. That's how. Uh, I found out she was over there because I was kind of back over here and uh, had had took a little bit to get her defensive but we've got a limit it's 1:30. I've been here for two and a half hours I would say the fishing's pretty good definitely would say that but I want to catch some more on a frog that's an awesome setup the seven foot four Magnum pitch and stick. Love it. Okay. Come on, Froggy. Do your thing. Golly, something just popped him. <laughs> See that Phil do that again. <laughs> Small guy, but 
He sure did want that popping perch. <laughs> was able to throw back down on him. That's number six. They're biting today. Man, those Lake Fork fish, they just got to have the sun. And they like, a, they like the warm nights, obviously. I mean, all bass do, but. I've been catching all my fish on this little pipsqueak popping perch, but I'm gonna go ahead and put on a traditional, you know, pointed snout sty style um, frog just because there's so much vegetation and I wanna go over it and, and fish through it and different things like that. And I think this is gonna be my best bet. So here we go. I hit him and he just came skyrocketing. Interesting though, not another, no big ones today. Well, I gotta get going. You know, some days those bigger ones just don't bite. Woo! My eyes are burning from the pollen in the air and just a lot of stuff going on. Everything's totally in bloom, all the trees are green. Well, that was my day on Lake Fork. The majority of the fish I caught were on frogs. I'm really surprised that I never had one, you know, haven't had a big one. It just seemed like um, the majority of them were just males that were up and uh, maybe maybe some of them were females, but um, didn't get any big ones. But I had a good time. You know, caught them on that the pipsqueak popping perch, the uh, striking sexy frog, and then those two fish on the uh, Strike King rodent in that green pumpkin purple gold. Um, man, I appreciate you guys watching my YouTube channel. I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please, uh, please subscribe. Going to continue to kick some content out there. Thanks again. Good fishing.